It's Monday, April 18th, 2022. I'm Jonathan Lau, and this is 5 Minutes of Proof, a weekly analysis of the science behind ozone therapy. We're going to take a look at a study entitled, Ozone Therapy Could Attenuate Tubulo-Interstitial Injury in Adenine-Induced CKD Rats by Mediating NRF2 and NFKB. Those last two words, NRF2 and, not the end, NFKB are very interesting to me because they're at the core of how ozone therapy works. And it's important that we understand that. So we're going to look at this. Um, we're going to look at chronic kidney disease um, and have a little bit of fun today. So it comes to us from China. It was introduced into the Iranian Journal of Basic Medical Sciences in 2016. So what did they see as they're trying to understand chronic kidney disease and the effect that ozone has upon it? Well, here, this kind of gets to the core of that. Studies revealed that impaired NRF2 activation resulted in the diseased antioxidative system and oxidation-mediated injury is one of the critical causes that lead to chronic tubulo-interstitial injury in CKD. Okay, so that's, that's very important. The relationship between NRF2 and NFKB, these are proteins, and these proteins are essential for regulating antioxidant and immune function. So this is one of the first studies to do this. What, how did they treat these, these rats? Well, the concentration was 50 uh, micrograms per milliliter. They decided on 1.1 milligrams per kilogram, which is a fairly normal dose, for, and they used rectal insufflation. Um, they did this for four weeks. Uh, so I assume daily, but I'm not quite sure um, whether or not it was daily treatment. And there's a lot of stuff here just about method that is of really not a whole lot of significance or interest to us. But we do want to look at, they, they tested renal function um, based on these different criteria. CR, BUN, K, CA, and IP concentrations. We don't need to understand what those are. We just need to know that they indicate how well the kidneys are functioning. Um, so the overall ozone therapy group showed a significant decrease in, this, in these indices that, than the ADE group. The ADE group is, of course, the diseased group. Um, so they had a sham group, they had that ADE group, and they have an ozone therapy group. And what they showed was that the nuclear protein expression of NRF2 was more remarkably down-regulated in the ADE group than the sham group, while the nuclear protein levels of NRF2 was significantly up-regulated in ozone therapy group than the ADE group. And they have different pictures to illustrate that and different charts to illustrate that, as you can see here. Um, but let's keep moving. Um, the ozone therapy group showed a significant decrease of these inflammatory cytokine levels as compared with ADE group. Uh, so there's a lot of veterinarians who call me in are wondering how ozone therapy works and whether it's going to work for this, that, and the other. Well, here's we're getting to the crux of why it works for so many things because of, at this point, how we understand ozone therapy to affect both the NF. R2 pathway and the NFKB pathway. The NRF2 um, is related with antioxidant production and the regulation of antioxidants, in particular glutathione, but other things as well. The NFKB pathway is a protein that's, that influences the production of interleukins and various immune cells. So it's, these are both crucial to maintaining proper balance of both our antioxidant system and our immune system. Uh, so um, I'm going to keep going because some of these things are things that I've noted twice in here. Um, and they kept re re going over the same things over and over. Uh, a low dose of ozone therapy by rectal insufflation improves serum biologic biochemical indices and alleviated renal tubular interstitial injury in rats. These results indicated that long-term ozone therapy at low dose rectal insufflation may exert a renal protective action by alleviating tubular interstitial injury in rats with adenine induced CKD. Okay. So, um, in this study, ozone therapy simultaneously restored impaired NRF2 activation and suppress NFKB-mediated inflammation in the tubulo interstitium in, of rats with adenine-induced CKD. Now, recognize this is going to vary. 
based on the body, based on the needs that the body has. Ozone actually helps to regulate NFKB and NRF2 at varying degrees depending on the, the condition being treated. Well, this has been 5 Minutes of Proof. Exciting information. Uh, we look forward to seeing you next week.